Glenda, I can tell you it hurts. The city of Detroit is hurting right now. This one has a different feel. But like you said, hundreds of people were out here just about two hours ago. Right now, it's fairly quiet. But behind me, this is where a lot of people were gathering and standing. This is the front of Detroit Coney Island. You can see more than a dozen candles, a bunch of teddy bears and some balloons are out here. Customers and the rest of the neighborhood, they believe this trigger man will pay. You lost a good man yesterday. How difficult is that for you and everybody else in the neighborhood? Too hard to even understand. You know? I'm just dealing with it, you know, for real. I ain't even sleep. I tossed and turned all night just trying to think, like, who would do that? Extreme sorrow outside Detroit Coney Island on Schaefer in southwest Detroit. Too many to count devastated by the shooting death of 58-year-old Frano Frank Yoon Chai. The co-owner of the restaurant came here from Albania, but there's no doubt this neighborhood was home. I was really hurt. I cried. I was really hurt. I just couldn't believe it. And to the person who did this, to the guy who took his life, your words to that person? He'll pay. He'll pay. Out front, a memorial to the man who'd been here for nearly 36 years, a father figure for so many, now leaning on each other to deal with this tragedy. Let them know our neighborhood love them, and ain't nothing the devil can do to hold us back. Investigators believe it was an attempted robbery gone bad Thursday morning. River Rouge Detective Dasimo Mitchell says officers from the force were there earlier that morning and warned him to lock the door to his area, but he couldn't stop coming out and greeting customers. They had concerns about him leaving the door open and actually uh, advised him to lock the door. But Frank, you know, that was him. He trusted everybody and he chose to leave the door open. His family was not out here tonight for the vigil, but I had a chance to text back and forth with one of his sons. He wants everybody to know they are grateful, grateful for everybody's concerns and prayers. As most of us know by now, Frank was expecting his first grandchild in just a few days. As for police, they continue to work all leads. For now, we are live in Detroit, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, you know he's going to be missed for sure.